This is Natalia Melkanova's story, a multi-record holder and the former leader of the Russian Free Dive Federation. While providing private free diving lessons on an island in Spain, she inexplicably vanished. She was widely recognized as the best freediver in the world. On May 8, 1962, Natalia Malkanova was born. She started her competitive swimming training at a very young age. She made the decision to semi-retire, though, in order to start a family when she was about 20 years old. For her two children, Oksana and Alexei, Natalia demonstrated that she was a devoted and adoring mother. As Alexei grew older, he continued in his mother's footsteps and developed into a successful world champion freediver. Natalia's love of the ocean never diminished despite spending 20 years being a devoted mother. Natalia made the decision to commence her training again at the age of 40 and switch from swimming to freediving. She was an associate professor at the Russian State University of Physical Culture, Sport and Tourism and possessed a PhD in Educational Science, thus her accomplishments went beyond her swimming prowess. She was well known for her in-depth understanding of the field. After some time, Natalia discovered a new position as a freediving instructor at the Russian State University, where she now imparts her massive experience and expertise to aspiring freedivers, encouraging and directing them on their way to success in the sport. Evidently, following in his mother's footsteps once more, her son Alexei also built a reputation for himself as a well-known freediving athlete. The 2003 Russian Championships in Moscow marked the start of Natalia's freediving career, and it was there that she made her mark by achieving a national record. She shocked everyone by setting two static and dynamic apnea national records in Russia shortly after. However, she didn't stop there. In only her second competition, the Sony Freediver Classic Open in Cyprus, she set a surprising world record in dynamic apnea by ascending to an astonishing 492 feet. As 2004 began, Natalia kept finding ways to excel, breaking her own world record for dynamic apnea once more, this time by 508 feet. As she transitioned from pool records to depth records, she also made the decision to compile a number of European continental records. Natalia achieved an incredible achievement by achieving nine world records in six different freediving disciplines in a single year in 2005, though, when she really began to fly to new heights. Natalia demonstrated consistency and excellence throughout her career, consistently breaking records, setting three world records and taking home the gold medal at the Team World Championships in 2006 was a remarkable accomplishment for her. She once again outdid herself the following year, 2007, when she added three more world records to her resume. During the 2007 Freediving World Championships in Mariba, Slovenia, a crucial turning point in Natalia's journey happened. She not only won the title thanks to her amazing performance in the static discipline, but she also demonstrated her exceptional skills and qualities by beating the winning male gold medal time. Natalia kept shining brilliantly and extending her list of accomplishments as she entered the year 2008. With three more world records added to her resume in 2009, she continued her unwavering streak of success and cemented her place among the best free dives in the world. Her depth of 410 feet in the variable weight discipline in 2010 broke Tania Streeter's record, which had stood for seven years, and marked a notable accomplishment for her. In 2011 and 2012, more depth world records were added to Natalia's spectacular record-breaking adventure. Natalia visited the Balearic Islands in August 2015 to assist Pavel Teo, a Russian real estate entrepreneur, and at least one other person with free private diving lessons. After the training session, she went down on one of her solo dives, however never came back up, even though being in good circumstances and having no obvious problems when she descended to a depth of about 114 feet. The yacht crew quickly alerted the Spanish Coast Guard and began a search, However, sadly, Natalia was not discovered despite their best efforts. Strong currents, a high volume of boat traffic, and quickly cooling water temperatures caused by the area's tough conditions forced the search to be suspended. As a result, the tragic and inexplicable disappearance of the freediving queen, Natalia Malkanova, continues to be a mystery, leaving the freediving world in awe of her extraordinary abilities and accomplishments and lamenting the loss of one of the sport's greatest icons. In such a challenging environment, even experienced divers could experience difficulty. 
There is no concrete information regarding what transpired to Natalia in the deep waters, and her fate is still unknown. What might have happened is merely a well-founded assumption. It is possible that she was carried away by the strong currents in that region. It's also possible that she passed out during her dive, which might have contributed to her tragic passing. To protect their safety throughout the dive, free divers typically have spotters underwater. Natalia though was the only certified diver in the group, therefore she was diving without any spotters. The situation might have been more difficult and uncertain due to the lack of spotters. Everyone is left wondering why Natalia died, but the precise cause is still a mystery. The underwater world can be explored in a distinctive way through free diving. You've experienced a little portion of what free diving is like if you've ever swum underwater while holding your breath. With free diving, you can go deeper, remain underwater longer, and experience what it's like to be an actual ocean world. It's a beautiful opportunity to get closer to the ocean and discover its depth while having no negative environmental impact. Free diving may be a personal challenge for certain people. However, for many, the calm and tranquility it brings to their hectic life is what really draws them in. Free diving demands understanding of safety and how the body responds to underwater pressure despite the fact that it appears to be simple. Without the right instruction, a free diver runs the risk of suffering from blackouts, lung, sinus, and ear damage, as well as the potential to drown. So before attempting to free dive, it's essential to learn the required abilities and safety precautions. To reach depths of more than 656 feet in a single breath, professional freedivers make use of their body's diving adaptations. By decreasing blood flow to the arms and legs and reserving it for the important organs, these adaptations, sometimes referred to as the diving reflexes, assist in saving oxygen. The current record for freediving is 702 feet. However, this is only the tip of what they can swim to without any breathing equipment. The world records for men and women in free diving are 11 minutes and 9 minutes, respectively. Champions can hold their breath for extraordinarily extended periods of time, but sudden pressure variations in the ocean provide substantial difficulties for free divers. You are subjected to an additional atmosphere of pressure, which is twice the pressure you experience at the surface just by diving 32 feet into the water. The pressure rises by one atmosphere for every 32 feet deeper. Since the body is compressed by the pressure of the deep water, there are less air spaces inside and different gases behave in the bloodstream and affect the neurological system, free diving presents a particularly difficult experience. Free diving can be practiced in a variety of depth disciplines. Let's look at a few of the important ones. The most popular kind of free diving is constant weight, CWT, in which the diver ascends and descends vertically along a dive rope while employing either a mana fin or a bifin as well as arm movements. The diver can only hold onto the rope once while rotating at the bottom to be ready for the ascent. It cannot be utilized as a pulley. Constant weight without fins, CNF, is more difficult since divers must use all of their muscle power to lower and raise themselves. Typically, they use a breaststroke method to descend. The diver is unable to alter the weight being used or pull on the rope, much like in CWT. Due to the diver's inability to alter the weight used throughout the dive or employ any propulsion equipment, free immersion FIM, is quite similar to constant weight without fins. In FIM, the diver can, however, tug on the guide rope to descend and ascend. It is seen as a more laid-back discipline. Free divers can alter the amount of weight used during both the descent and ascent by using variable weight VWT, with the aid of a mana fin, bifin, or by using their upper body strength to pull themselves up the rope, they can descend using a sled and then surface. Deepest free diving is known as No Limits NLT. A sled or other heavy object is used by the diver to fast descend into the water, and he or she utilizes a buoyancy aid like a balloon or a vest with inflatable chambers to quickly surface. Since the free diver doesn't have to exert any energy to descend or ascend, this discipline primarily depends on having a solid equalization technique and being able to tolerate pressure. Natalia Melkanova's disappearance remains a tragic incident that raises a lot of questions in the free diving community. Her outstanding abilities and sporting accomplishments are still honored and recognized. It's important to approach free diving with the right training, safety precautions, and a thorough grasp of the physiological impacts of deep water diving. Free diving offers a unique and demanding method to explore the undersea environment. Would you dare conquer the underwater world?
you can suggest topics you want to see next in the comment section below. Please subscribe to Weather Collapse if you want to know more and be updated on the latest news about natural calamities or disasters happening all over the world and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.